is no one and this week's video is brought to you by nobody nobody sponsoring me <laughs> I I guess I just wanted to share a little bit about why I want to make movies as opposed to work in international affairs which is what I went to school for <laughs> <laughs> Five years ago, I think in 2013, I started thinking about what I want to do with my life more so. I was finishing up my last year studying international relations and I just thought that, you know, there's so much to life and how do I make life to its fullest? And it wasn't until something very dramatic happened that I was just like, you know, I need to go for it. I need to, I need to do something really different and drastically change the path that I'm going on. And I thought to myself that one, I have this one life to live. What is life anyways? It's like we come into this world and then we die. And what do I want that time to be about? And I thought that maybe I should just think of something that I want to do that I think is really impossible and go for it because I'll just put all of my effort into it and if it doesn't happen then it doesn't happen but what if it could happen so that's what I thought when I originally wanted to be an actor I wanted to make movies so that's one thing uh, another thing is that since high school I've thought about what I want my life to be about what would give my life a lot of purpose and that would be to eliminate wars. I, I don't like the idea of countries going to war with one another, a bunch of people killing each other and dying for each other and this is also personal to me because my parents had been uplifted from their homes in search of a better place because war does bad things to one's country. <laughs> so I just didn't want that to happen to anybody else. I don't want wars to happen and I thought that being part of the government I would have the opportunity to make that vision a realization but I also think that films are able to share stories and create bridges between cultures, uh, between people and also prevent people from getting into really extreme fights with one another that would cause each other to lose lives on a mass scale. Another reason why I want to make videos or movies is because of my own struggle of coming out with my parents and I think that maybe if I could make a film that is really beautiful that my parents like depicting the life of somebody who is queer that they would understand and be more loving towards the lgbtq community and that's with my parents or maybe with other folks who don't really see eye to eye <laughs> and then last but not least is i want to make an impact on the world and I think that being part of the government or making policies as part of the government does do that but I also think that films can do that however if the policy or the idea hurts other people I'm sure by accident yeah. that making films the film with the bad message has less impact than a government policy with a bad message so I just don't like the potential for disaster. Hopefully this video is somewhat coherent. I've definitely been thinking about these things for the last couple of years and I and I know that when I first like maybe five years ago when I thought about them I, I, I understood them in my head which is why I'm still on this path five years later but I couldn't exactly articulate it with other people my parents were very confused. I'm sure a lot of people were kind of like, what? 
but here I am just making sure that I get this out. Ugh.